which will only take a minute and I'll let you go. What, what, what are you calling me from? Sir, I'm calling you from Convenience today. Convenience? For a small help with a few household questions. What, what, did, did you say your company's name's Convenience? Convenience Today. Convenience Today? What exactly do you do? Sir, Convenience Today is a data management company. And I'm just looking for your help with a few household questions. With simple yes or no answers. Household questions? Yes. Okay, what about my house? No, sir. The question is based on the products and services which you use on a daily basis. Because we are just trying to find out that which are the most famous and leading brands and services are there in the UK. So that's why I'm asking a few questions. Right, okay. Thank you. So you're going to ask questions about my house and what I use? Sorry? You're going to ask questions about my house and what I use? Yes. Oh, right, okay. But in, in what way? Do you, mean, do you mean like tools and stuff? Yes, sir. The products which you use on a daily basis. Oh, right, okay. Like, more like my food and that. So I'm going to watch it, sir. You, you'll, uh, we'll see, uh, you'll see, sir. Okay. I'm just confirming you are Mr. Adams with the house number 644 right? Yeah. And your phone number 129. No, that's not my number. Uh, it's not your number? No. So, uh, do you live at this house? The, the, yeah, yeah, the, la the last digit is two, not three. It's two. How come it's possible, sir? Because we are calling you on this number. Oh, right, okay. You must have phoned here before then. Yeah, go on, go on. Okay. So, uh, moving ahead, sir. <coughs> at the moment, sir, are you retired or working? Am I retarded? Uh, are you retired or working? Uh, well, I'm standing here talking to you at the moment. Oh, work, sorry, sorry, I see what you mean, working. Yes, so you are an employed person, right? Yes, I'm an employed person, yeah. Okay, and are you in your 30s, 40s, 50s or 60s? I don't think that's really nice to ask that sort of question at someone's age, really, is it? Hello? Hello? They've gone. Hello, good evening and welcome to The Fourth Wall from Teleport Films here on the 21st of October 2016 or of course any date in the future in which you're watching it. My name is Paul Adams and I'm going to show you how we edit sound on The Fourth Wall using Adobe Audition. Okay, so we're going to be doing some audio editing. Uh, this is a clip from episode four, uh, the intro in the bed. It wasn't really in a bed. It was up against the wall, which probably sounds worse. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how the audio sounded from camera, how the audio sounded from the Tascam and the Rode mic that we were using, and then I'm going to show you how, how I edit in Audition. Um, now, we'll, uh, we'll constantly, it's a running joke that we'll... we'll will will uh, record audio and use from the camera and this is what camera audio sounds like now just incidentally i am using uh, camtasia as well and so i'm going to have to mute the mic whilst i'm playing the file so please bear with me with that so here is the audio from the camera oh, keep your hands to yourself paul Sorry. what's that what's that sticking in my bottom okay so that's the audio from the mic now this is the audio Sorry, that was from the camera mic, and this is from the mic plugged into the test cam. So the road mic into the test cam. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, Paul. What's that, what's that sticking in my bottom? Now, whilst the uh, audio is quite loud in the camera, the, the, the frequencies aren't there to, to make it a nice audio. Uh, the audio is very nice in the test cam and the road mic, however, it needs some editing. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that in Audition to edit that. So what I'm going to do, right click on that file and I'll edit clip in Adobe Audition. So we'll click on that and it'll render and replace and open up the Audition file. Now again, I have to turn this this microphone down. Uh, I'm using a Samsung CO1U um, just to satisfy Steve's uh, you know passion for telling everybody what we're using. So I'm going to mute this and I'm going to play you the file in Audition. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, Paul. What's that, what's that sticking in my bottom? 
Now, you can see that the waveform here is very, very small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a four-step process. So I'm gonna normalize the sound, I'm gonna stick a parametric equalizer on it, I'm gonna stick a hard limiter on, limiter on it, and then I'm gonna normalize it again. Now the way to normalize for me is I'm going to use a percentage, uh, so it sounds a bit more radio, if you like. So we're gonna come up to effects here, and we are going to go amplitude and compression, and we're gonna follow down to normalize. Now normalize will bring up, and uh, previously I've used, uh, whatever I've used previously will be shown on screen. So the last time I used something was 96.2%. Um, so if you think about the dial on your FM radios uh, of old times, you get 96.2 locally. Uh, in Aylesbury would be mix 96 and things like that. Um, but you can, you can choose whatever you want, or you can do it via decibels. I'm gonna do it with the percentage. So I'm gonna key in that, I'm gonna do like a radio one sound from the 80s and 90s. So I'm gonna go 98.8 and apply that. Now you see, I'm trying to point to the screen, you'll see that the waveform has massively increased. So again, have a listen to that. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, Paul. What's that, what's that sticking in my bottom? Now, clearly, that has changed the sound. We could leave it as it is, but we're not going to because we're going to change a few more things to try and make it sound a little bit more TV friendly, if you like. So we've done that effect on there. Now, so we come back up to the effects panel and we're going to go to the parametric equalizer, which we will find in uh, filter and EQ. So highlight filter and EQ and then we'll find the parametric equalizer there. Again, it will show you what I've used already and I have used this setting before, but you'll see, for example. Okay, so this is your custom setting. So I'm gonna set that back to default. Now that's your default setting. What I like to do is I like to click on this and go to the loudness maximizer. So all I've done is pushed up a little bit of the bass tones there. Not so much bass, it's sort of mid tones and then some of the high, mid to high tones there. And you can adjust it as you go. So here we go again, you can have a listen. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, Paul. What's that, what's that sticking in my bottom? <laughs> I have no... Well, have you got your charger in your pocket? Sorry, that's my pen. All right. Sorry, I accidentally uh, undid what I had done already. So, so what we do, as I say, just push up to where you're comfortable with. I think I prefer this sound. Keep your hands to yourself, Paul. Sorry. What's that, what's that sticking in my bottom? Okay, I didn't turn that down, so hopefully that didn't do it. Uh, it didn't um, extort the sound, so I'm going to do it. Bottom. <laughs> I have no... So I'm quite happy with that sound, so I'm going to apply that. Okay, so that's your parametric equalizer and your normalize done. Now we're going to hard limit it. So what I want to do is I want to hard limit this so that it doesn't go over minus three decibels. It will to a point, but it won't distort, and that's the main thing. So click on amplitude and compression here, and then we go to hard limiter, and we choose limit to minus three dB. You can have whatever you want in there. You can have a heavy tone, a light tone, limit to minus one, limit to minus three, limit to minus six. I'll limit to minus three because I can then have a little bit more headroom to push that volume up. So we'll apply that there and mute this again. Well, have you got your charger in your pocket? Oh, sorry, that's my pen. All right, okay. Why, why are we still in bed? So as you can hear, it is a much better. And when you look at that waveform, you can see how increased that volume is on both channels there. So channel left and channel right. Uh, if you imagine that as a horizon line and that's your reflection, so both reflect each other. So the final step of that is to go back to the effects and we're gonna stick that normalize back on again. Um, why we do this, I don't know. I found it on a tutorial on something else, but uh, we'll stick that normalize again and we're normalized to 98.8 and watch that waveform change. And it's massive now. now if it's too loud, we have got the volume here, which we can turn down. So let's have a listen to that. I really can't get, I don't want to go up today. Don't we have a show to do? Yeah, we're late. Oh. oh. Okay, so. Then we have uh, this bar here. I'm going to show you this here. This is your volume uh, slider or... Um, 
volume level. I, I can't even think of the words at the moment. I'm so excited for Nashville, I can't think straight. Um, so minus three is here, so it shouldn't really go over minus three. If it does, it's still hard limited to minus three uh, and won't distort. So have a listen to this. Look. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is really weird. This, isn't, this doesn't happen normally. Welcome to the fourth wall. Look. So, that sounds good to me, as far as I'm concerned. It's not too loud, although it is. it looks like it's peaking here. It's really not. If we open that up, we'll see that it's up there, but it's still hard limited. We can, if we want to turn up individual pieces, we can do, for example, this. <laughs> I have no... <laughs> well, have you got your... Okay, so if we were to do that, we'll turn that down there, let's say. Um, okay, so let's say we'll turn that down. If it was peaking quite a bit, let's have a listen to that. I have no. <laughs> well, have you got your charger in your pocket? So you can do quite a lot with that. So I'm going to undo what I just did there, and there we go. So I'm quite happy with that, and I am going to uh, export that now. So I'm going to export that file, and we'll call that. Uh, what should we call in? Steve's bottom. Now it's not going to let me put that apostrophe in there. So we'll do that and we'll put that in episode 7 and voila. Okay, so now incidentally what you can do if you like all those settings that we did, let's just undo everything that we've done so far. If you like those settings and you're going to use them quite regularly like I do, uh, you can come up to your effects. Sorry. You come up to your favorites and you can start recording your favorite. Uh, so this works like a macro. So one button will do everything for you. So very, very quickly, start recording favorite. So stick your normalize on like I did, amplitude and compression, normalize, process 98.8, .8, click apply. It's, it's applied it here. We go to effects again and then we go to filter and EQ. We stick that parametric EQ, EQ on. We go to your loudness maximizer. We do whatever you got to do to it and we apply that as well. Then we go back up to your effects, amplitude and compression. We go to the hard limiter, minus 3 dB. We'll apply that and then we'll go back up to your effects, go to the amplitude and compression, hit the normalize button, 98.8, apply that and then come up to your favorites one more time and stop recording. It'll ask for your favorite. We'll call it E7 for this and we'll undo everything that we've just done and then we'll come up to our favorites. We'll find E7 and watch the magic happen. Boom. Easy, simple as pie. Well, kind of. Oh, keep your hands to yourself, Paul. Sorry. So that's that there. So what we do is we close that now and we'll say yes to that. And what that should do now is it has automatically changed it in here. So if we solo that track and we'll turn this down. <laughs> I have no. <laughs> well, have you got your charger in your pocket? Sorry, that's my pen. But all right. Okay. Why? Why are we still in bed? I really can't get. So there we go. That's how I edit audio in Audition within Premiere. It's very, very simple, very easy program to use. You can do all that in Premiere, but it takes you a very, very long time. So Audition is something that I avoided, and then I went back to. I started using it uh, during our Aylesbury Dead days. Um, and then I couldn't get on with it, um, but I went back to it. I learned a bit more about it and went back to it, and it works like a dream. So that's it for episode seven. Uh, next week, um, I won't be here. I will be in Nashville, so hopefully you'll see a little bit about that. Will and Steve will be back next week to uh, host the program, and we'll see what happens on the next week. I might not be there for that as well, because I might stay in Nashville. Uh, until next time, then, we'll see you later on the fourth wall.